Hey guys, it's Hopeful Monster and this is my daughter, Kiki. <laughs> Hi Kiki. So as you know, I'm gonna, It's it's been hard, I've been working full time and I've been, it's just me. Um, my mom passed away, I don't have any relatives to help me. So it's just me in New York and if I'm sick, there's no one to take care of Kingsley. Um, so I started this blog because um, I feel in, the, in the some sense nobody really understands me I don't have anybody that I can um, share it with and I've been before I got pregnant I had my own music school I've been pursuing music I I fell in love with a guy that I thought was the one. I really did. I was like, I was head over heels in love. Um, I always dreamed about to be head over heels in love. And, and you know, of course, when things got hard, he didn't stay around and he left me with a four months old daughter. Um, and uh, she's one years old and I got a job. I'm working full time. It's not in music. I gave up music since she was born a year ago I haven't been singing but I've been a musician and I want to try I don't know if my life is over um, I'm also like in terms of dating I don't know I'd love to find somebody who is amazing and beautiful and and I think gives me hope you know but it it's been non-existent my love life hasn't been non-existent mm. But anyway, I've been never really, really successful. And I don't know, like, I've been reading books about success. I've been studying success. And, you know, a lot, like, especially I'm, I'm at work. I'm in sales. Hey, baby, and baby. I've been watching a lot of Ty Lopez videos. And, you know, he's a successful guy. I have no idea what he does. I, I still don't know what he does for, for a living. I guess he's an entrepreneur, um, whatever that means. But... I know he had some sites. He started out with some websites, some dating sites, and I think some of I think it was kind of like a scam because they had like pretty models emailing these guys, and you have to pay money. I don't think they were. Uh, some of the stuff was not very legit, from my understanding. But you know, he bought a bunch of those sites, and that's how he started. He is a great salesperson. He is successful somehow. I don't. But maybe not the most honorable and the most ethical way, but he's successful. And, you know, I, I have some friends that are successful, some acquaintances, should I say not friends, but some acquaintances have been successful. Maybe not, they didn't, they didn't do it the most ethical way, ethical way, but then they... But then they did become successful. Sorry, that was a little uh, technical error. Um, so, Ty Lopez, you know, I'm not saying he's the most ethical person, but he's successful and successful in terms of money and in terms of power, in terms of, I guess, social status, um, and in terms of satisfaction in life. Now, he might not be, I'm not saying he's the most intelligent person or the most well-read or the most creative, but he, he made it in this world, right? Um, Tony Robbins, I read lots of his books, at least few, at least few, <laughs> not all of them. Um, I definitely love what he has to say and I've tried it and... And it's still, you know, like, every time they give you like a recipe for success, it doesn't necessarily translate, even if you do A to Z, it doesn't translate exactly into, you can't sort of duplicate it because you're not Tony Robbins. I'm not Tony Robbins. I'm not seven feet tall or, you know, uh, or a guy or, um, at the right time at the right place now 
I'm not, these are not excuses, but I do like Tony Robbins. Um, you know, he makes these seminars where you could do everything and the, you run through fire and some people burn their feet and, you know, and the shows, what I read from books, that it's like a rock star shows and it's meant to be like a shows for, rock. he's like a rock star and it's meant to be that, just like, I don't compare him to Osho, but you know, the, 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 the guy that's like Osho, the, uh, the Bhagawan or whatever, he, you know, he was also like, the, the feeling was like, it, it's a rock star stage and he's a rock star. And I'm always a little bit suspicious of that uh, because I feel like there's no, I feel like there's no solution I just feel like it's being simplified. It's kind of saying like, I can solve all your problems and just come to my show and give me $10,000 and you'll be, you know, I'll solve all your problems and you'll have what you're looking for. And I also feel there's a desire in people to follow and to be the sheep and to belong no matter what, what price, you know, it's almost like you want to shut your brain off and not think for yourself because thinking for yourself and being lonely and not belonging to a tribe and accepting some shortcomings of life accepting that life is not great and it's not all this and life is hard and it's not fair and in fact you know i have a couple of fr girl girl friends that are friends um they're mormons you know they come and visit me in kingsley very very nice girls and they always tell me jesus christ loves you and you know that you know and, and you just have to talk to him and he has a plan for you and once again like beautiful girls lovely girls i you know if there's a god i thank god for creating those girls because they make a difference in mine kingsley live they come and visit us and it's very very nice and but the point is like if there is a god how come there's so much hardships in life there's suffering there's there's hunger there there's tragedy tragedy there's there's unfairness. There are people that really struggle and have it, have the worst luck of all. And so I'm always wondering, like, I'm, I'm confused if God loves you. Uh, does he love certain people more than others? I mean, it, it, that's not fair. Um, so... I'm searching for what is success and what it means to be successful and I feel like I've never, you know, and Facebook makes me so depressed, I, I look and people, everybody's so successful and I'm like, I'm not, I'm a single mom and the guy whom I love left me and what's wrong with me, am I a bad person, am I, I'm intelligent, I went to school, I went to college, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I've, I've been studying. I've been an A plus student, sometimes A and B, but I graduated with honors. Why? My mother died when she was young from cancer. My grandma died. Why am I alone? You know, um, so all these questions enter my mind anyway, but I also wanted to talk to you guys. So I don't know what's the secret to success. And like I said, uh, but, uh, okay, <laughs> maybe that is the secret to success. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to tell you, so I haven't played music, I've, you know, I've been a musician and I started like learning logic um, when I got pregnant and I haven't touched logic in a year since I have, a because I don't have any moment free. Like you see, if I make it this video, I have to feed my daughter or something so but I I made a song um it's like I'm still learning logic like recently I started so I made a song and I started it like when I was pregnant and kind of just finished it a little bit like whenever I have time you know I work in the corporate America full-time so just to support my daughter because uh, we need to pay rent um, and we live in a six floor walk up and that's another thing like I would like to start a GoFundMe page because we want to move out I can't carry her anymore on the sixth floor it's very difficult for me I and the stairs are very dangerous it's like a very small staircase it's actually in my video in my second video and um, so I'm 
I wrote this song, it's called Zero Options. It's a song actually about Denise Muravyov and Katya Vlasov. It's two Russian teenagers that, they were 15 years old, they, were good. they loved each other and they come from, you know, dysfunctional families. The girl was abused, you know, beaten and, and the guy, I don't know, but not happy families and basically they fell in love and they felt very passionate about each other and the families forbid them to date each other they weren't like doing drugs or anything and just and basically these two kids they felt they felt like nobody understood them and their love for each other and they they went to his to his parents house um, and there was some guns and they started shooting and they got and they, I guess they started shooting from the house and what happened, they, they were surrounded by the police and they felt like being young, they felt like there was no options but to die because they felt like their life was messed up. Like they would never be able to start over. And I think this being outsiders in society, that theme is very, very close to me because I, I feel people deserve second chances. I, I feel everybody deserves a chance. I mean, unless you're like a psychopath and a killer. That's... Ow! No. Uh, um. But otherwise, I feel like everybody... She bit me really hard. Everybody deserves a second chance. And the, the story of these two kids that they felt they had zero options. They kept saying, we have zero options. And they were streaming this live video. Um... We don't know if the police shot them because they were shooting just randomly at the police um, or they really shot themselves. I mean, I think they did commit a suicide because... But the point is that they come from dysfunctional families and the point is that the girl was beaten, you know, like the, her mother like would beat her like regularly. Um, so black and blue and it wasn't... They, these weren't kids from a happy family that could share their, their story or with anyone. And I, I, I made a song about them. It's called Zero Options. And these are their words. They kept saying we have zero options. And I just wanted to play for you a little bit, um, a little piece. a little piece um so i'm gonna post it in my second video So that's that's the song you could hear it in my next video it's called zero options it's dedicated to two teenagers that felt so alone and so isolated in the world and that they felt like they had no one to turn to except to end their lives and I don't want that to be the story of people like I don't want people that feel different or feel they don't belong to feel so ostracized by society that the only option is out um, because I like I used to be the outsider and I understand the feeling thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you next week bye